In this video, I am going to explain to you how you can solve a capacitive circuit using Kirchhoff's rules. Let us first review the Kirchhoff's rules. The Kirchhoff's rules has two parts. Uh, the first one is the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Sometimes it is uh, abbreviated as KVL which states that the sum of potential difference around a complete loop of a circuit is equal to zero. While I apply this uh, law, we have to follow the uh, following steps. First, uh, we have to choose uh, a direction to move through each loop. This can be either clockwise or it can be anti-clockwise. Second step is to label the polarity of each EMF device. And we have to also guess the polarity of the capacitors. The following sign convention is used. If I have an EMF and I am going from negative to positive, then the EMF is taken positive. And if uh, for the EMF, I am going from positive to negative, then the EMF is taken as negative. Moving through capacitors from positive to negative plate, I will be taking the voltage uh, difference to be negative. Moving through the capacitor from negative to positive, I will take the voltage difference to be positive. For resistors carrying current, Opposite to the direction of the current, the voltage is taken to be positive. In the direction of current, the voltage is taken to be less than zero or it is taken as negative. The second uh, part of the law is uh, Kirchhoff's charge law, which is uh, actually the conservation of charge or charge cannot accumulate in, in any part of the circuit. So you pick up any junction, at any junction, uh, the total charge would be equal to zero. The addition of total charge, that is uh, the positive as well as the negative charge together will be uh, equal to zero. To apply this rule, we have to guess the charges on each capacitor plate. You can try to guess uh, the charges, uh, the sign of the charges. But if your guess is wrong, and you still will get an answer, but the, the answer will be with a negative sign. Now we have taken a specific problem on which we, I will apply the Kirchhoff's law in order to see how these uh, rules can be applied. Look at the figure. The circuit contains uh, three capacitances, C1, C2 and C3 and uh, there are two voltage uh, sources, E1 and E2. We have to find what is the uh, charge Q3 on capacitor C3. So in order to solve this problem, uh, let us first look at this loop and uh, the loop which is A, B, E and F. Let this be the direction in which I will uh, add up the voltages. So I start from uh, the EMF source. So uh, the EMF source I go from positive to negative so it will be minus E1 and then next I encounter the capacitance C1 which uh, is from negative to positive so that will be voltage V1 which will be positive and then I encounter uh, the capacitor C3 in which I go from negative to positive again the voltage uh, V3 will be positive so I get my equation minus E1 plus V1 plus V3 is equal to 0 which is uh, I have named uh, this as equation number 1. 
now let us go to uh, the second loop which is B C D E and uh, we uh, we maintain the uh, direction in which I will add up the voltages which will be uh, which will be like this so again let us start from the uh, EMF source so I go from positive to negative so EMF uh, will be minus E2 and then I encounter the capacitor C3 which is I am going from positive to negative so it will be minus V3 and I then encounter the capacitor C2 which is I am going from negative to positive so it will be plus V2 so this all together will be equal to 0 let that be my equation 2 now I apply Kirchhoff's charge law uh, at the junction B so at the junction B total charge will have to be 0 so uh, the charge on C1 I have taken to be Q1 and I have assumed uh, the right hand uh, side plate to be positive so this is plus Q1 and I have uh, for C2 minus Q2 and for C3 minus Q3 so this uh, uh, this uh, Q1 minus Q2 minus Q3 will be equal to 0 so uh, we know that Q is equal to CV so using this uh, rule I can write Q1 equal to C1V1 and Q2 equal to C2V2 and Q3 equal to C3V3 now we can uh, solve for V2 and we get V2 equal to 1 over C2 C1 V1 minus C3 V3 so this I call as equation number 4 now I substitute this in equation 2 I substitute the value of V2 in equation 2 if I do that uh, then uh, I get this equation and uh, rearranging uh, I get uh, equation 5 so which is uh, very simple to see that uh, if I take V3 common then I get this uh, term in the bracket and uh, the uh, factor for V1 is C1 divided by C2 uh, uh, from this set of equations I have to eliminate V1 and I find that if I use the equation 1 I can easily eliminate V1 if I multiply the equation 1 by a factor of C1 divided by C2 and subtract that equation from the equation 5 I can get uh, the value of V3 so uh, after uh, multiplying by the factor C1 by C2 I have obtained the equation 6 and if I can if I subtract equation 6 from 5 then uh, this factor uh, this uh, V1 uh, and this factor V1 would cancel and we will we can easily find that the value of V3 will be C2 V2 minus C1 V1 divided by C1 plus C2 plus C3 so if I have obtained V3 then uh, charge on uh, Q, uh, C3 can be easily found out because uh, again we use Q is equal to C times V so the voltage is this and the value of C will be C3 so uh, so Q Q3 will be is equal to uh, C3 multiply by C2 V2 minus C1 V1 divide C1 plus C2 plus C3 and that is the answer thank you for watching